Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tabor Talk. Everybody is feeling good. I got to tell you, I haven't done a, a video in a few days. I have a very small channel when there are big news stories. It's like my channel gets drowned out. That's normal. So I decided to just wait a couple of days um, and then talk about, obviously, uh, Joe Biden dropping out. Um, you know, last week or was it two weeks? These news cycles are so fast. You know, the assassination attempt on Trump, um, you know, uh, uh, Trump's J.D. Vance choice as VP. I mean, absolutely. He's starting to regret it. And that's, by the way, I'm going to I'm going to do a play a little video here um, about J.D. Vance right after this. Uh, it's a little bit of deep dive into J.D. Vance. We all know he's a piece of shit. He's a grifter, scumbag, the whole thing. Um, very intelligent guy, no question about it. His resume is, you know, impeccable. You know, he went to Yale. Um, Yale lawyer uh, wrote that book. Um, what was it? Hillbilly uh, Elegy, whatever. Um, was a New York Times bestseller, and it was well-written, too. I, I, I haven't read it, but I remember at the time in 2016, I had it on my book I was going to, but it got good reviews, and he, there was a movie. Netflix picked it up, Hillbilly Elegy, and, and who was in it? Uh, Glenn Close, was it? I think. I don't know. But uh, I started watching the movie. It was terrible. It was dog shit. But anyway, um, he is very intelligent. There's no question about it, but he's evil. He's evil and he's a grifter and all of that. And Trump is already having second thoughts. Okay. Also, I'm going to talk about the, the money that uh, fundraising is off the charts. It's ac actually record breaking. I'm actually hearing now with all, everything, it's like $200 million in what, 72 hours uh, Kamala has raised. And some of the polls here show that she's up. The polls are mixed. It's just way too early. But some show Kamala up by two. And in this poll here, Kamala's up by six. Okay, so let me show this J.D. Vance clip first, and then I'll talk some more. And I'll be uploading uh, a lot a lot more videos today and tomorrow and throughout the week. Okay. Oh, by the way, the Yankees sting. They lost to the Mets last night. They're, they're terrible. Okay. All right, here we go. J.D. Vance. Reprehensible story of J.D. Vance and the great charity fraud. Lil Jimmy Vance has always publicly stated he hates Big Pharma and the damage that was done to his state of Ohio during the opioid crisis. Being a good boy with political ambitions, he moved back to Ohio and started a charity called Our Ohio Renewal. Claiming he was going to help solve the problem, Big Pharma started. A noble goal. He rolled up his sleeves and got to work. Unfortunately, that work turned out to be scamming the state of Ohio out of money slated for use combating addiction. All state, federal, and donated money he received never went to a single addiction-related effort. Instead, he pocketed the funds and used them to pay for polling, advisors, and travel to launch his political career. What a scummy little boy you are, J.D. To add insult to the people of Ohio, he funneled a a portion of the money into hiring Dr. Sally Sattel, whose employer regularly received donations from Big Pharma to write flattering articles in support of their handling of the opioid crisis. She often shared her writings with them beforehand so that Big Pharma could edit them to their liking. She repeatedly states that overprescription and the actions of the pharmaceutical companies had nothing to do with addiction. A claim that flies in the face of, well, of reality. She was paid a large stipend to study addiction in the state. When asked what she was doing with that money, she said, I'm writing a book. Eight years later, no such book exists. Meanwhile, Lil JD claims she did an amazing job with the money he gave her. What that job is, he has never been able to articulate. So to recap, JD Vance, Republican vice presidential candidate, stole money meant to help with addiction, sent a large portion of it to a pro-big pharma doctor, and then pocketed the rest to pay for his election to the Senate. But what would you expect from an untrustworthy, opportunistic, money-grubbing political hack? Okay, so there you go. That was, that was pretty good. That was from uh, TikTok. Okay, so if you made it this far, like and subscribe. It helps with the algorithm. Spread it around. We're a very small channel. We have, what, 1,100? Something like that. 15, what is, I don't even know what it is, but uh, trying to get to 10,000. Okay, good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Peace.